So, welcome to Detecting Bavaria in the afternoon and still the 7th of November and it's 20 to 4 and I have about an hour before my wife gets home. So, Terry from the forum uh, Plymouth Mudlugs um, asked me, you know, do I always have pictures when I go to the farmer and stuff like that and obviously he hasn't seen it. So Terry, this is for you. This is my book. I always have in my car. It's one of them. I mean, there's a second one right here for a different area. And what do I have? Okay. In my book, most of, first of all, and most important of all, are the permissions. So this is a part of permissions for Waltersberg. I'm today more in Rostov which comes at the back here and as you can see all the permissions are on there numbered and they're not numbered one two three through I mean I got seven up here six down here it's how I got the permissions um, from the farmers or from the owners also wie gesagt, der Terry hat mich äh, gefragt, wie sieht das aus, äh, wie äh, habe ich immer ein Buch dabei? Ja, ich habe immer eine Mappe dabei, da sind meine Genehmigungen drin und meine Genehmigungen sind auch nicht 1, 2, 3, 4 in der Reihenfolge, sondern 7 ist zum Beispiel da oben, 6 ist da, die 1 da, 8 da unten, die 3 wieder da drüben. Also es ist immer unterschiedlich. Then, this is the overflight picture. Then, this is the picture with the... Heritage sites, and so which is off limits. Also, that's just that's a bit with the Denkmals, uh, Bodendenkmäler. Da darf man nicht sondern, ist klar. This one is, for instance, uh, Max, the mill, and there you see the off limits area where I said, you know, you need to keep off why I what I said this morning. Also, that's then also, zum Beispiel, the Bodendenkmal, wo ich hier auf dem Feld sonderlich daneben ist verboten. Das andere Feld, wo ich gesagt habe, immer schön Abstand lassen, mindestens 50 Meter bis 100 Meter. Und ich bin direkt da bis zur Straße, mache ich nur und dann reicht das auch. Okay, so, then I zoom in. Dann zoome ich ein bisschen ein. So the permissions are bigger, so I can see better the permissions. And also I zoom in with the heritage sites. Uh, with the historical map. And I always have this with me. Also, das habe ich immer bei mir. Then, this is for instance one booklet of finds from one area. This was the area, this was our house right there actually. And this is what I'll do and I'll show the farmer and show the farmers. Also, das mache ich auch, damit der Bauer sieht. Zum Beispiel, so ein Teil habe ich immer dabei. Das ist jetzt von einer Genehmigung, so baue ich das auf. Da sind alle Funde auf einen Blick. Then, in what area did I find what? And then we go, for instance, silver coin, Maximilian II, Emmanuel uh, 1697, that was one of the finds. And I make pictures, and this is like a Bistums Fennec. I don't know what year it is, I could hardly tell. These are all the other coins from the same permission. This is all one permission. And this is alles jetzt von einer Genehmigung. And I can show the farmer what I do, and it looks a little bit professional. And this is the same thing I give our heritage, our uh, flow field liaison officer, or actually we call it a Denkmalschutzbeauftragte. In our case, for me, it's Dr. Rushover. Most of the times, if she's not around, I have somebody else I can go to also at the same time. So hopefully, this gave you now an insight on how I work and I always have my permissions with me and like I said now we are on permission number four there you go number four is right there I don't know if you can see it right there and if I turn the page historical site number four right there it's written in and there you go there's nothing in there and I can see all the roads that went through it you know stuff like that 
So, let's go to the tech before it gets dark. Also lass uns mal so sondern bevor es dunkel So, first find of the afternoon is another buckle. There you go. Comes out nice and clear. Would have been a nice one, but broken in half. Another the piece missing right there. This one has the bar on it. And there you go. Also wieder ein Teil von eine Schnalle. Was haben wir da? Erster Fund. Naja, habe schon eine ganze Weile gesucht und sehr, sehr äh, wenig drauf. Dann erstmal auch Grüße an Bernhard. Danke immer für deine Kommentare und dass du schaust. Okay? And Red Dakota, obviously you watch and Sick Boy, you watch also and David oder David and Terry and all the other people. I mean, my brain isn't very good with names. I know you guys when you write on the posts, uh, on different posts and stuff like that, and Andy, Addy, and all your people, Jed, obviously, yeah. So, very clean field again. I've done quite a bit already, as you can see. I don't know if you can actually see all the different lines. This is like the fifth line already. And first find, part of a buckle. Also the first find, the schnelle, wie gesagt, and schauen wir mal weiter. Let's carry on.